Hello everyone, it's Faith from Parasite Tarot. Pisces. The moon card is the last card in the stack. It is time for your bonus. Alright, so. That being said. Let's throw them down. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for what's left of the rest of August. It's a bonus read, so it's going to be hopefully short, sweet, and to the point. Just an overall with the past, present, future, so eight cards in the table plus clarifiers. Just whatever comes out, comes out. Okay. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate, I made it a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome. And I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with a little old me. It gets lonely back here. Let me tell you, especially when I'm back here for hours on end reading cards. <laughs> I mean, I don't stay back here the whole time. I, you know, like I was like making dinner in between readings tonight and folding laundry and doing my mom thing. And, you know. <laughs> but, anywho, neither here nor there. We're not talking about me, we're talking about you. Alright, before we throw them down a couple of things we need to address, but before we do that, we're going to address what fell out of the deck. Page of Pentacles and the Chariot. You think maybe for some of you, it'd just be a simple apology, you might get a chariot moving again? Or some of you... Might have an apology coming in after you put some distance between you and somebody else. Or maybe you need to give an apology. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. Just throwing down cards. All right. Putting them back in. Maybe they'll come back out. Maybe they won't. We'll see. Okay. Anyway. The two things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I just don't recommend it. Not at all. Life-altering decisions, meaning if it's going to just completely F your universe up. If you make the wrong choice, I would not trust a deck of cards with your future and your destiny. But that's just me. Go inside, sort it out for yourself. That's the best advice I can give you. Two, if this isn't your reading, isn't your story, isn't your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. It's not always going to be meant for you. Not every time. That's not how the universe works. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If the shoes don't fit, don't buy them and bring them home. Queen of Cups decided to come out. You could have a deep, deep love for someone. Lots of emotion. Okay. It's time. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me one more time tonight. I'm grateful for you and I appreciate you. And I'm grateful and thankful for the gift that I've been given. And I ask that you give me clarity to accurately bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Pisces, what the hell are you doing here? Ten of Cups! Who comes to the crazy tarot lady when they're happy? I mean, it's a good thing. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying. Kudos to you if this is you, but... Who comes to the crazy tarot lady when they're happy? Page of Cups. In the past. Seven of Cups in the present. Magician in the future. Oh my God, Pisces. You probably got the best reading so far. Libra's was pretty good, too. That looked rosy as hell in the beginning. And then it, you know, 
all kind of took a sideways left turn, but it's not going to happen to you. So hold on. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Sorry, I'm just like in chill mode at this point. I got my leg up. <laughs> Relaxing. I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you. I worked for um, 10 hours at the bread and butter job today. King of Cups reverse, Nine of Wands came out. The person you're dealing with could be emotionally closed off and have their walls up. We'll see if the cards come back out. All right, Universe Source Spirit Guides, can I get the energy of the person that Pisces is dealing with, the energy of the situation Pisces is dealing with for what's left of August? Any additional messages that Pisces may need? Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Guides. Thank you, Archangels. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, there's hope at the end of it. Mm. I got a shadow side, a ten of swords, and an empress. Not in that order. Nine of pentacles. Okay. Now that I'm thoroughly confused. Give me two seconds. To address something here. Okay, I will address that later. It's nothing super important. It's not the bread and butter job, so we're not worried about it. Okay, clarity. I picked up, okay, this is the last time I'm going to do this, so I got to do what I did it for everybody else. I picked up a new deck the other day. It is the Heaven and Earth Tarot um, by Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. Holy shit, I love this deck. It's my new favorite deck. And this is probably the last time I'm going to use it for a while because though the imagery is absolutely stunning. There's the Princess of Wands down here at the bottom. Might mean something, might not. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Neither here nor there. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. Isn't that a beautiful card? Some of these are just gorgeous. Emperor. Could be dealing with a control freak, might be an Aries. Kind of weird that it was another fire sign card. I really just split the deck to show you the imagery. But since it's split, let's shuffle it and get on the road, right? Seven minutes into this madness. Okay. Universe Source Spirit Guides Clarity for Pisces and the person or situation they're dealing with for the rest of August, please. Clarity for any additional messages that Pisces might need. Why the Ten of Cups? It's the ultimate happiness. It's joy. It's the family. It's completion. Full reverse. throwing this out there. Are things going a little bit too good right now? You don't trust it. That's why you're here. Okay. All right. Well, we'll run with that. One more. One more. King of Cups. Either you or the person you're dealing with not wearing their heart on their sleeve right now. The emotion is there, but it's not being expressed properly. Could be dealing with another water sign or an Aries. Wow. Aries came out again, huh? Oh, 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 oh. And the nine of wands in the reverse and, and the seven of cups.
confusion. And wondering if you need to throw in the towel. You're happy. Exactly what about this do you not trust is my question, but that's within you, not me. We're not even going to go there. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for the other side? And the Nine of Pentacles, it speaks of independence. It's not like Queen of Wands fierce independence, but independence nonetheless. It's, I'm good on my own if I need to be on my own. And this is the image they're projecting in the here and now. Trying to avoid conflict. Five of Wands reversed. Why would they be trying to avoid conflict? You're happy. Things are going well. But you don't trust this person. Or the situation strength. They're holding back. Could be a Leo. There's something they're holding back. I got a lot of freaking fire on this board right now. Okay. Why is Seven of Pentacles here? Wow, you just kind of flew out. Eight of Cups. Patiently waiting. I'm sorry, what? One more. One more. What? Turn to be in reverse. Patiently waiting to make a graceful exit. Hung up. Hang ups. But you've invested in this. Why would you invest to walk away? One more. It runs reverse. No communication. You're not talking right now. There's no communication. Why is the shadow side here for their side? Why is the shadow side here? That's the devil card in the witch's tarot. That's toxic shit. That's binding connections. That's that's the uncomfortable stuff. Ten of wands, unable to release a burden, unable to disconnect from something. One more. Can't get something off their chest, holding back, trying to avoid conflict, temperance, reverse, there's negative energy. Oh, God, Pisces, what the hell happened? You were happy! You're happy. You're in a good place. Damn it, why do I have to be bad news, Betty? Okay. We got Okay, let's go. Let's everybody calm the fuck down. Let's look in the rear view mirror, figure out what the hell happened. Why is the page of cups here for the past for Pisces? Why the page of cups? Why the page of cups? Why the page of cups? Seven pentacles reversed. Lost patience. Lost patience with what? Nine of pentacles reversed. Lost patience, felt a little bit needy, possibly got sick of being single. Who'd you hand your cup to? Or who'd you take a cup from? Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Did you revisit something? Karmic connection. This is karmic. Why is the Ten of Swords here for them? Why is the Ten of Swords here for the past for the person that Pisces is currently dealing with? Six of Pentacles. All right. Closing out a painful cycle. Letting the sun shine again. Equal give and take in a situation. Shadow side reverse, trying to come out of something toxic, trying not to be bound to something. Three fell out and putting them back. Oh, 
High Priestess. It's Soulmate Connection. This is meant to teach y'all something. What do you know? <laughs> okay, I did this for Leo. It worked out pretty good. Can I get a binder for the past, please? One overall. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy. Your lesson is to take things slowly. Mm. The Knight of Pentacles isn't a band aid. Oh, hell no. The Knight of Pentacles is abundance, it's possibilities, it's potential. It's slow moving energy for a purpose. Y'all jumped into this head first, didn't ya? Mm -hmm. But, but, if, 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 if this is, is a soulmate thing, that might have been how it was supposed to go down, because, you know, soulmates work, right? I mean, before y'all come down into the 3D, up in the 5D, soul contracts, all that shit, now how everything's supposed to go down, is prearranged before we come down here, and then we meet who we're supposed to meet, and we learn the lessons we're supposed to learn, and things go down a certain way, and... It's a matter of whether it goes down the way it's supposed to or not as to whether you all got to repeat this shit again in the next life. So, your lesson here is to move slowly. I don't think things move slowly. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Binder on the overall. Binder on the overall. Five of Cups Reverse. I think y'all are just trying not to let this suck. There's confusion. There's avoidance of conflict. There's holding back. Somebody wants to be independent. Somebody just wants the happiness in the dream. Binder for the current energy. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Nobody's putting any effort into this right now. There's negative energy. Nobody's talking. Mm -hmm. Somebody invested energy, but now they're just waiting to make a graceful exit or waiting for the other per person to make a graceful exit. I have a feeling somebody carried baggage. It's a baggage card. Yeah, they let the sun shine again. They closed out a painful cycle, but... That doesn't mean they didn't take the baggage of an old cycle with them. Yeah, they disconnected from something binding and toxic. But did they really, if they didn't totally release it, if they brought the baggage of it with them? They're still bound to something else. Bottom line. Bottom line. They're still bound to something else. So what she's to do? Why is the magician here? For Pisces... For the future and the outcome and potential future and outcome. Why the magician? Why the magician? Seven of Wands. Rising up, doing what's best for you. Defeating your inner demons, if you will. You know what the biggest inner demon is? Self-doubt. That's the biggest inner demon you will ever face is self-doubt. Not trusting yourself, not trusting your judgment, not trusting your decision-making. That's nice. Three of Pentacles. It's the building of the foundation. It's the building of the foundation. I'm not going to go any farther with that because this is growth. This is growth. Can I get one on the Empress, please? Can I get one on the Empress, please? One on the Empress. Thank you! Damn it. Ten of Pentacles reversed.
it's done reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. I'm not I'm not being a dead horse anymore. This ain't happening. The potential is there. But I think they're fighting the potential of this connection. They want to be single. In the here and in the now and in the moment they want to be single. The potential is there. But they're going to continue to fight it. One more. I'll I'll throw one throw one more rose and one more fistful of sand on the dead horse. One more. What needs to happen for this growth to take place? Ace of Pentacles reversed. Because nothing can be done. It's ultimately their choice. But you'll defeat your inner demons and you will rise up and do what is best for you and build your own foundations. Throw one more on that. Lay this to rest and heal and process the broken heart that goes along with it. Flipping it over. Come out of that state of brokenheartedness because that's what this does is turns this this way. So you come out of it. All right. Pisces, your card has come up. It is the moon. If you continue to question why and keep yourself in this state of not being illuminated as to why, in swords, and s sit by the river tears. You, you miss the next offer and the next come together. You forever stay out in the cold. I know it's a hard message to hear, but if you stay hung up, the empress don't come. Release it. If it is meant to come back to you, it will. If it is not, it won't. That's where you let go of the wheel. And don't try to control shit. Build your foundations. Even if it's a lesson you don't want to hear. You will find happiness again. You will. You'll find it again. But sometimes you have to make the logical head over heart decision to plant the seeds that are going to grow. And don't keep yourself stuck. And let karma and judgment do its job and level the playing field out. You gotta let this go, baby. And come out of the cold for that blessed union to come. And don't be all salty about it. Because sometimes it takes more strength to let go than it does to hang on. Do you need me to keep going? I don't think you do. I think I, I think I got my point across. So <laughs> I think I got my point across. The cards have made their point. We're letting it go for the rest of August. Okay. <clears throat> Get a couple out of the crystal power and then I'm going to eat some spaghetti and go to bed. Queen of wands, king of wands. Oh my God. Th these like both came out for, I, I want to say it was Virgo. I think it was Virgo. Is either Virgo or Sagittarius? I don't know. I can't remember, but they both came out for somebody. I am successful in all I do, and I am naturally creative. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told them. Create your own reality. Create your own destiny. Go forth and create something. Explore your creative side. Build something. Redo your house. I don't know. Do something with it, but don't sit there and lay in it. Don't. Turn off the John Hughes movie, put the Cheetos back in the cupboard, and get up off your butt and do something, okay? Don't stay in the sadness. 
Not a good energy to stay in. And don't get me wrong, I love John Hughes movies. I think I've seen Pretty in Pink like a thousand times, but... Seven of Swords, I take great care of what I value. What do you value? What is important to you? To ask yourself that. Six of Wands, I am proud of what I achieve and I accept my rewards. The reward is coming. It's coming. But don't sit there and lay in it and miss it. Four of Cups. I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. Pisces. Four of Wands. The universe brings me all that I need to be blissful. You gotta let go of the wheel, man. You gotta let go of the wheel. You gotta let go of the wheel. It's not yours to control. You can't control the people's decisions. Okay? I love you. Take care. Know that you are loved and be blessed. And I will catch you next time. I'm hoping to have all of September readings done by the 31st of August. I don't know. I guarantee nothing. I'm on a hot streak right now because I've been feeling pretty good. But again, I have as much control over the universe as I have over my illness. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. But just know that I will catch you next time and there will be a next time. Okay? Take care of yourself, kid. I'll see you later.